Hi, we must have a sound understanding of a few networking concepts before we start writing a network applications code. We'll start with the term host. A host is basically a fancy term for any computing device which is connected to a computer network. This device or machine can be a laptop, a smartphone, your home router, Amazon Alexa or a server which is running in the cloud. A machine is called a host for a reason. It is called a host because it is hosting a software which can communicate over the network. Every host on the network is accessible through a unique address within that network. This unique address is called an Internet Protocol Address or IP Address for short. A few examples of an IP address are shown on the screen. We'll learn more about the IP address in the next video. In this video, I'll explain what is an IP address. As I told you in the previous video that every host on a computer network is accessible through a unique IP address. We are going to use IP version 4 or IPv4 in this course. Another version of IP specification is IPv6 and it is catching up these days. So an IPv4 address is a group of four separate 8-bit numbers. The total length of an IP address in IPv4 is 32 bits. An individual number inside the IP address can have a value between 0 and 255. When printing an IP address, the four numbers are separated by a dot to make reading it easier. This method of printing the IP address is called the dotted decimal notation. In many cases, a hostname is used instead of an IP address. A hostname is an alphanumeric name assigned to a machine which then gets translated into an IP address by a domain name server. This combination of a hostname and a DNS server is commonly used in enterprise scenarios. In order to understand port numbers, we'll use an analogy. Let us consider that your PC is like an apartment building. The entire building can be reached through a specific street address. In case of a PC, it will be the IP address. So this building is further divided into apartments where every apartment is identified by a unique apartment number. This apartment number is similar to the port number. A computer contains a large but finite number of ports. Just like an apartment building contains a finite number of apartments. Each apartment inside this building or this computer is occupied by only one thread or only one process. Unlike an apartment, only one thread or one process can use a port number to send or receive data. Which means that in case of a computer, only one person can occupy an apartment at any given time. When we need to send data to a specific thread or a process, we need to know which port number is being used by it. We also need to know the IP address of the PC on which the thread or the process is running. The combination of an IP address and a port number is known as an endpoint. A few examples are shown on the screen. There are total 65,536 ports on a computer. The port numbers from 0 to 1023 are reserved for operating system usage. You can say that these apartments are being occupied by the building administration. These ports are also called well-known ports or system ports. A few examples will be Port number 20 is used for file transfer protocol or FTP. Port 23 is used for telnet and port 25 for emails using SMTP and port 53 for DNS.